Hello and welcome to this uh, quick short uh, demo of uh, the app of Elite Video Traffic. Uh, basically this is a tracking app as you probably already know. What you have to do first thing after you have purchased the app is actually logged in, uh, log into your account. And after you log into your account, this is what you will see. This is basically the dashboard. What I want to say before going on with the demonstration is that uh, this is a very, very useful app, especially if you want to drive uh, traffic from different sources because you can do tracking, you can do split testing, you can see what converts better for you. And basically uh, that helps you to optimize your process again and again uh, every single time. Now, the first thing that you want to do uh, after you log into the app is basically to add a website, right? Add uh, something that you want to track. And how do you do that? Well, by clicking this plus button that you see on your screen. So that's the first thing that we want to do, okay? Right now, I will click the plus button. Then uh, here, basically, we add the site name. I will add my personal website, okay? I will just uh, press the add new site button. And this is it. We have created a new website. Is uh, It's as simple as it can be, right? You can see that we have some uh, reports here, here, site overview, nothing too interesting for you at the moment because you don't have what overview, you just started. Then you can see the products that you have, none at the moment because we haven't added an anything. And the A-B testing because as I've told you before, Previously, you can do split testing, right? Now, what we want to do, so we have added our new website. Uh, basically, we want to add a new campaign, right? That's the first thing that we want to do and it works very, very simply. You just have to press the new campaign button and you will see that you have two options, which is pretty cool, right? Because sometimes you might promote a single product if that uh, is part of your marketing campaign or whatever you are selling. Uh, and sometimes, actually most of the times in the case for marketers, is the fact that you promote a sales funnel and probably you will choose this option, right? Now, they both are similar, but in the sales funnel you have a couple of more options because you can track each of the upsells that you have in the funnel, right? Or downsells or whatever you have there. So let me show you how does, does that work, okay? And we will take as an example the sales funnel, the single product, it's the same. It's just a little bit more basic, right? So we'll go into the sales funnel. We will choose the sales funnel. And now we have a, a new sales funnel, right? We have to choose uh, from where do we drive traffic, okay? Paid search, social media, uh, classifieds, press release, referral, display ads. Let's say that we have a paid search, right? Uh, then we have to put a landing page URL. I'm just going to put my website here. We give it a campaign name. I will name it test five, okay? Traffic source, uh, we can type in the traffic source here, Bing ads, okay, let's say Bing ads, and the ad content. Basically, uh, we will uh, uh, connect the traffic source to the ad content so that we know exactly for what ad uh, uh, we, we get the traffic, right? And basically here the ad content, maybe we are promoting something with, uh, I don't know, buy one, get one free, we have an example there, or I don't know, lead magnet or something like that, lead magnet free book, okay, something like that, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, and then we have optional track the cost of your ad, you can also upload cost reports later for exact figures, so if you have cost reports later, you can update them. Uh, let's say that our campaign type is pay-per-click or monthly payment, we have Bing ads, it's pay-per-click and the amount is, uh, let's say, zero point three dollars right zero point three dollars per click from bing ads which is a decent uh, a decent pay-per-click amount okay now now after we are done with uh, all the settings here we press we press the save button and if you scroll down you can see that we have here all the details okay the product id uh, the medium the campaign name everything all the details and here is our front end of the funnel right our main offer and now if we want to start to drive traffic here, okay, in order for us to be able to track, we just have to press the get tracking link button. And here you can see that we have two tracking links. And basically this is what we want to promote. If we promote through Bing ads and that's the purpose, 
we will copy this and we will enter the keyword that we want to track here. You can see that we have keyword, right? If we promote through other websites or ad networks, we will promote this, uh, this link. So we either promote in our ad this link in Bing and Google or on other mediums, we will promote this link, right? That's how we will be able to track, right? And let me just press the close button. So this is how this works. Main offer, you can see that we have visits zero, conversion zero at the moment. Let me just scroll down. You can see that here you have all the stats and I will show you an example of how this works later. Now you can see that you have a small settings icon here, like a small cog, right? If you click on this one, you will uh, you'll be able to get a conversion code so that you can track the conversion. First enter the amount of revenue you expect from a conversion. So basically this is uh, how much revenue you should get from a conversion, from a sale, maybe the product price like $27.99, okay? And then we have the conversion code. Basically you have to copy and paste this in your thank you page after somebody buys your product, right? You just copy and paste it. Order one, name, main offer then you press save and you will be able to track your conversions as well now okay if you insert the the conversion code now let's say that we want to add uh, an upsell to our offer what we do we just go here on the plus button we just click on it <clears throat> and if you scroll down right now we can see that we have step number two pretty nice right pretty simple now in order for us to edit step number two we just click on the small cog or settings icon here and let's say that we have an upsell for $47.99. We copy the code. Okay, we paste it in the thank you page. Let's say upsell one. Save, we copy in the paste, we copy it in the thank you page, and that's it. Okay, that's how you track it. Now let me show you, let me just get the tracking link. Okay, let me let us just test it. We copy it, right? Let me open a new window. And this is it. Right? Hello guys, I just so got on my here. website. Now let me close it. And let's just refresh this one. Okay, you can see how fast this actually, right? This actually was updated. Visits one, okay, cost 0.3. Why? Because uh, basically we have told the app that uh, every single click costs 0.3 dollars, right? because it's a paid uh, click actually, but it isn't, it was just a test for us and the profit is minus 0 0.3. So it actually calculates for you in real time the profit too, right? So this is how it works. Now, basically you can see that this is very simple. You can also export the details, uh, print, okay, everything. Uh, if you go to site overview right now, you can see on the overall report that we have one click, okay, it will tell you, it will tell you from where it comes, the visits, conversions, absolutely all the details. Uh, you can filter the reports here based on uh, media, source, campaign, keywords, whatever, whatever you have here, okay? Into my products, if you go right now, you can see that we have this campaign. Now, how do you do A-B testing? It's very simple. You just click on the A-B testing uh, uh, OK option. Then you go and press the create new experiment. OK, we'll just give it a name. Uh, A-B-1. OK. Then uh, we have already a product, uh, basically a campaign with a specific sales page, right? And this is test five. We want to send here like 50% of the visitors. Uh, obviously, then we have a different sales page that we want to test in comparison with our first one that will be a different product, different campaign. So we will add a new product in our case because we don't have a different one. It will, sti it will still be test five. In your case, where you when you will actually do that, it will be the other sales page, right? Also, we want to send here 50% traffic and we will just check send same percent for traffic automatically send traffic to the winner so basically when you will promote the link that uh, that the a b testing will create for you uh, after a specific number of participants okay if you check this uh, if you check this option after a specific number of participants uh, basically uh, that link will automatically send the visitors to the campaign which performs the better to the sales page which, perform, which performs the best actually right so let's check this point and let's say after 500 people okay then you just press create experiment and we have the experiment link 
and this is basically the link that we want to promote. Now, if I will copy this link and paste it here in my browser, you can see that it redirects me Hello. to my website, right? So to the actual uh, first campaign that we have created as a test. So this is it guys, this is how it works. It's very, very simple, very efficient. As you can see, it's a very, very useful app, especially if you want to drive traffic from different sources, if you want to be able to track it and permanently optimize it because you know that optimization is the key to long-term profits. Now also, if you haven't been already through the elite video traffic training, do that because you have an, uh, a, a special training here. Go for that training because it will uh, teach you a lot, a lot of useful stuff for uh, for video ads and for driving traffic with uh, video ads. Okay. Now, thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you will enjoy your new app.